Hello guys and welcome, my name is Aaron Cooper, welcome to a brand new video here today upon my channel guys. Today I've got a best class setup video for you all and this is on the ERAD SMG in Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. This weapon is an absolute beast to use guys and I love using it within multiplayer online inside Infinite Warfare. And I find with the right attachments and the right perks, you put it together and you can have a beastie setup. And trust me, with this particular weapon, you can experiment quite a bit with it and you can use various different attachments. And if you use it in the right way, you can fit your playstyle each and every time. But for my playstyle, I like to use a specific variant of this weapon. And it's called the legendary variant and it's called Destiny. But in general, guys, if you want to use this best class setup, you don't need any specific variants whatsoever. Um, as you can use common, rare, epic or legendary or even no variant whatsoever. So it doesn't really matter because obviously the main focus for this gun is what attachments and perks that you use for this weapon to fit your playstyle. But for mine, like I said, I like to use a legendary variant called Destiny. And I see it is, the reason why I like to use this legendary variant called Destiny is because of its abilities. And it's got really two really awesome abilities. And the first one's called Roll the Dice. And what this does, it gains basically one random attachment every time you spawn. So let's just say for example, I got two attachments on this weapon. Every time I spawn, I'm going to get a third one for free. And it's a random one each and every time. It can be anything. It could be a foregrip. It could be a particle amp. It could be anything, guys. So it always gives you that little bit of an extra edge with you gain a random attachment. And the second ability is reading this. And reading this. And what this does, basically reloads you faster when the mag is low, as long as it stacks with dexterity. And I find with this particular sort of ability, guys, that... When you're low on ammo, your guns can reload even quicker than normal. So it's going to help you a lot, and especially when it comes to gunfights, because you could be low on ammo, you run into cover, your gun's going to be completely going to be reloaded instantly, mean enough, and then you can run back out of cover and boom, take down your enemies, and they're going to be like, whoa, that was quick. You know what I mean? You can give them a hard time online if you can reload quickly with your gun, especially if you're keeping your shots on target. Anyways, now, let's jump into the form of attachments and stuff that I like to use upon this weapon. And first of all, I don't like to use any optics for this weapon. I find that the iron sights on this weapon are pretty good. So I see it says I don't use any optics. It's up to you guys if whether or not you're going to equip an optic or not. But for me, I prefer to just use the iron sights. But I do recommend, if you are going to use a sight on this gun, I do recommend either using a Trojan sight, a Reflex, or an Elo. But that's just my personal opinion, okay? But personally, I like to use just the iron sights on this weapon because I think it's good all around. But I'll give you a little bit of a brief about this gun so you know what this weapon's all about in case you've never used it before. Basically, it's a fully automatic energy firearm. A wide uh, disposition, uh, disposition uh, muzzle dampens the recoil of this weapon, provided, uh, providing a highest accuracy in this class. So it's got really good accuracy and I find that it's a really, really awesome weapon to use. So that's just a little bit of a background to that weapon. Anyways, for the attachments, the first one I like to use is Quick Draw. Quick Draw will help you, basically, it's a custom grip for fast aiming down sights. And what this does, allows you to aim down sights rather quickly and be able to lock onto your enemies a lot more quicker than normal. So if you're going 1v1 with your opponents and you've got Quick Draw, you can aim down sights rather quickly, lock onto your opponents a lot more quicker than they can, if they don't have a quick draw equipped on their classes. So I see it is, they'll be aiming down sights normally, going nice and slow. As for you, if you've got quick draw, you can aim down sights rather quickly. And by the time they've aimed down sights and already got a lock onto you, you probably would have taken them down nine times out of 10. And for the second attachment, I like to use suppressor. Basically what this is guys, is it's invisible on the radar when firing and reduces the muzzle flash of this weapon shortens the effective damage of the range and it keeps all your shots on with this gun off the radar basically it keeps you hidden so you can be like a ninja you can sneak around the map and i find that if you're always keeping your movements and stuff hidden and stuff and you're taking down your opponents and every single one of your bullets is hidden and they're not going to hear it you're going to find that you're going to be getting on some really really mad gun streaks because no one's going to know you're there you can be killing enemy after enemy after enemy after enemy and all your shots are going to be hidden so it's recommended that you give it a go. And there's a reason why I don't use a foregrip on this class, because I find that this gun is really accurate anyway. So this is the reason why I've ditched the foregrip and just went with the quick draw and the suppressor, okay? 
And uh, moving on now with this best class setup, I don't use any secondaries, I don't use any lethals or tacticals, but I do use quite a few perks upon this best class setup, okay? In my perk 1 slot, I like to use Dexterity. Dexterity allows me to reload and switch my weapons a lot more faster. And I see it is, with this weapon obviously you're going to be loading a lot more quickly, and obviously with the ability of this weapon which allows you to reload really quickly, I see it is, it's going to come really handy guys, because obviously if you're killing enemies, reloading instantly really quickly, and then locking onto your enemies again and taking them down, you're going to be like a machine, trust me, anyone's going to be like, whoa, this guy is just like OP, he just like keeps annihilating me. So you're going to be really, really annoying your enemies when you keep constantly killing them and reloading your gun really quickly. When they think they got that little bit of an advantage on you, run into cover, quickly reload your gun, boom, take him straight down. You're going to be showing them who's boss each and every time. And I see it as it helps as well when you've got no ammo left in your gun and you're picking a gun up off the floor. You can switch that weapon really quickly and maintain that gun streak and keep going on with that mad, impressive gun streak that you might have. Uh, moving into the second attachment within the perk 1 slot, we've got Ghost. And with Ghost, what it does, it keeps you invisible to radars and UAVs. So as it is, 9 times out of 10, when you're in a Call of Duty game, I see this in every game I've ever played, your enemy is going to be using a UAV, or there's going to be a radar ping, or something that's going to basically allow a radar or a UAV to be active. But let's say your opponent's got a UAV on, they're going to be relying on that UAV to find your position. But if you're invisible to their UAV, they're not going to be finding you. So they'll probably find your team members, but probably won't be finding you. So you can use this to your advantage to stay hidden and take down your opponents. And trust me, it helps quite a lot, guys, especially with this gun and with this best class setup. Your enemies are not going to know where you are. Trust me, you're going to be well hidden, trust me. Uh, moving on to the perk 2 slots now, guys. There's two particular perks I like to use in this in this part of the best class setup. And the first uh, like perk I, I like to use is Scavenger. Scavenger, basically what this does, he basically resupplies the ammo from dead bodies. So what this does is that, say you're running out of ammo or running low on ammo, run over a dead body, you're going to get more ammo. So if you're killing your opponents, run over their bodies, you're going to get even more bullets. So you can keep your streak going nice and easily, and trust me, if you're going on their impressive gun streaks, let's just say you're going on a 30 gun streak, and normally you probably would have run out by ammo, like run out of ammo by now, just run over a dead body, pick up some ammo, keep your gun streak going. Why not? It's going to help you out quite a bit. And the other perk that's within the perk 2 slot, I like to use Tracker. See the recent enemy trails even when they are cloaked. And basically what this does guys, if an enemy is near you, you're going to see their footprints on the floor. Follow the footprints that you see with on the floor, follow them all the way around the map to wherever they are, and boom, you can take them down. Because you basically you can use this to troll your opponents. Because if an enemy is near you, you're going to see their footprints. So you're going to know exactly where they are and where they've been from. And just keep following them bank you can take him down and nine times out of ten i've annoyed my opponents when i've used this perk and they get so angry like i've heard i remember playing a game earlier on and this guy got so angry because i kept finding his position because of this perk and it really does make your opponents angry but at the same time it's going to help you keep winning guys so trust me it's worth to use we use it if you are online and for the final perk now guys, I like to use Dead Silence. Because the fact is, footprints, like basically your footsteps and jetpack movements are silenced. And what this means is that your movement within Infinite Warfare will be hidden. It will be silenced. So no one's going to hear you boost jumping, sliding, running. And as it is with your gun having a suppressor on it, it's going to keep your gun not only silenced, but it's going to keep you silenced. So then you can move around the map and you're just going to be like a ninja at all times. No one's going to know where you are. No one's going to know where you're firing from. And as it is, you're just going to keep taking them down each and every time. Trust me, you can have a lot of fun with the setup. I've had pretty much some insane streaks with this gun before. And it's a shame it's not a nuclear variant where you can go for a deatomizer strike. Because I've had some impressive 24 kill streaks with this gun before. And it's a shame. That it's not a Deatomizer Strike sort of like variant where you can use the Deatomizer Strike because I probably would have got one by now with this gun. But it's a lot of fun to use, guys, and it helps me out so much online. And I'm hopefully, if you use this weapon, I'm hoping that with your playstyle, I hope it's going to help you a lot and help you keep maintaining your great KD online, whether you play for KD or just play for fun. I hope it's going to help you out each and every time, and I'm hoping you can have a lot of fun showing your opponents who's boss. Anyways, have a marvelous day. If you enjoyed the video, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you again next time up on another brand new video. If you have any best class um, setup videos that you would like me to do on one of your favorite weapons out there, maybe you like some of the other weapons within Infinite Warfare or in any other Call of Duty game, 
let me know, leave them down below in the comment section, and I'll see you again next time.